In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We are in another day of grace and blessing, especially as we celebrate, as we encounter God's word, and in his own body and blood so in divinity, in and through the Holy Eucharist. Our infant Santo, the disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brethren, Alleluia. We call to mind our sins as we ask the Lord for pardon and strength, for mercy and forgiveness. <clears throat> We were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, <clears throat> I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is, an on, it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for, full, for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance, and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. <clears throat> Alleluia. 
I will send to you the spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Peter returned and saw the disciples following whom Jesus loved. The one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and, his, and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? And Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die. <clears throat> Just as what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this, this disciple who testifies to these things that has written them and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did that if there were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul remained at Rome proclaiming the kingdom of God. An example of a disciple, a follower of Christ, one being sent. Why is this? We heard in his life, and to him it was not an idea, it was an event. The spirit of this line proclaimed in today's gospel, you follow me. Three words. In a sentence which is, a command. I can imagine myself, Christ, telling me, you follow me. Each one of us too can, can imagine and hear Jesus loud and clear, and clear saying to us, you follow me. And we know it as we try to respond to this command or to the spirit of this line, you follow me, we know it. It will be always a struggle from sunrise to sunset and to the next sunrise. And we know it that as we struggle to follow Christ, no matter how far we go, in our spiritual journey, we see ourselves always as a beginner. We always see ourselves in some kind of, yes, a struggle, but we, we keep on beginning. 
and beginning again to follow Christ. So we ask for this grace. Words made famous by St. Ignatius of Loyola. That I may come to know you, Lord, more intimately and love you more ardently and follow and imitate you more closely and more faithfully. The line is, you follow me. Following, obeying, those are the same words in what it takes and what it means when we keep, when we hear that word, to trust or trusting. When we believe, when we trust, we follow, we obey. The question is, how is my way of following the Lord? Now we offer our petitions to the Lord. We continue praying for our Holy Father, for Francis and for all bishops throughout the world. And all those engaging whatever form of ministry in the church, priests, deacons, brothers, religious men and women, lay faithful, whatever form of ministry, that they, that they will always be spirit-filled and spirit-led. For it is we pray to the Lord. That our way of following Christ will be in his spirit will bring us to be more and more one in his spirit sent for his mission for this we pray to the Lord. Lord God. For everyone struggling in the faith as everyone struggles in the way of following Jesus that they will discover more and more that it is the spirit of the Lord that brings them light and power to, to persevere like St. Paul to the very end. For this we pray to the Lord. And for those who are sick, for those who are dying, for those victims of the scourge of this pandemic, that they will experience in all the trials and sufferings whatever pains and difficulties, the nearness and the love of God, no matter how difficult these events might be. For this we pray to the Lord. For those who perished in this pandemic, for those that long gone before us, for the, all the souls in purgatory, for their eternal rest, for this we pray to the Lord. For the intention of Joseph de Maguire um, for his eternal rest, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, these are our prayers. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we add, we add for our intention for today, for the eternal rest of Dan Castellin, for his eternal rest, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to you, goodness, we have received you. The bread we open you, go to the earth, and work with human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. 
be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we owe for you through the divine and work of your hands. It will become our spiritual drink to be us in God's glory. <coughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, coming here, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of our sins. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your prayers, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is your palms in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the fountains of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like that you call so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence 
and minister to you. I'm going to pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him and redeem and aid him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And gracious, graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be overspread from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, through said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you love. Not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, help us in this. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but you can say the word and my soul shall be saved.
communion and to form. The Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear in your compassion our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things that have passed to new mysteries, so with, the for with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the final blessing, we make our ninth day of the Novena through the Holy Spirit. Our final day before we celebrate <clears throat> the great feast of Pentecost. Tomorrow, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. We go in the grace of Christ to be one with the Lord and to be sent for his mission. The ninth day of our novena to the Holy Spirit. O come, divine spirit, fill our hearts with your heavenly fruit, your charity, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, faith, mildness, and your inspiration and temperance that we may, by faithful submission to your inspiration, merit to be united eternally with you in the love of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.